Terry, oh yeah, Terry, and Finbar, and uh, that was in Terry Wogan's back garden. So you and Terry are... I would tell him myself. No, no, no. And uh, he's a most genial, lovely man. He is a great guy. Mm -hmm. 
This wall here, Ed, is mostly devoted to family photographs. Yeah. Tell us about your own family now. Yeah, well, we have uh, two daughters with Norma, and they're uh, Christina and Stephanie, and they're great kids. And uh, that's them there. That's Christina's communion. That's her when she was mm -hmm. like one. And there's mum and the two girls. Yeah. That's in America there. Mm -hmm. And you have another daughter. Kimberly, yeah. She's now an adult. She is. She's grown up now. She's in her 20s now. But uh, she's a lovely girl, Kimberly. Never a day is trouble. She's a wonderful girl. Mm -hmm. That was from your first marriage. That's right, yeah. And that was um, a, a sad occasion because it didn't last very long. Well, it lasted uh, three or four years, yeah. And, and it went by the by, but it's. Thankfully, it's all behind us now. I get the impression, looking around the house, Red, that you are a big family man. There's photographs of people everywhere. Well, yeah, I, you know, I love people and I like life. And I mean, I've enjoyed my life so far and uh, we continue to enjoy it. And the children are very much a part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And I've only just realised, I didn't realise that this is actually a bar. That's a bar, yeah. Would you like a drink? No. <laughs> it's a bit early for a drink, but let me go in behind yeah, the bar and see what it's like. But often time we play a few records here and Norman and I sit here and have a little glass of wine or have a few friends over. It's a grand little spot to, to repair to. Yeah. Well now, we've, uh, we've had a good look around. Mm. Um, I'd love to meet Norma and uh, the girls if they were around. Could we oh, do yeah, that? They'll be back here in a minute, yeah. Okay, sure. will we go and yeah. uh, get things ready for them? Okay, why not? Ah, oh, this is lovely. This is like being in the garden. It is, yeah. Who is the gardener? Mrs. Hurley. Mrs. Hurley. Yeah. Norma, where did you and Red meet? Um, we met in the Gaiety Theatre um, way back in 1990, January 1990. So you're 20, what? 23 and, three and a years. half years. Being in the same business, the entertainment industry as Red, because you run a dance school now, it must make it easy to, to cope with the, the demands that oh, he has. Oh, absolutely. Completely understand the demands of show business. And that's, you know, it's our common denominator. It's what we have well, in common. Norma would be my best critic, Mary, because she's able to pass without being, you know, uh, judgmental as such. She would, she would be able to tell me what she thought was right or wrong about any particular show. So from my own point of view, she's marvellous to have her around. She's a great producer, very easy. Norma will work and work and work and work and then on the day it'll all settle down and she'll give nobody any pressure or any grief, but she gets it done. <laughs> What's it like, Norma, being married to Red Hurley? <laughs> it's fun and it's very unpredictable. It must be lovely, Red, for you to have the support of Norma and the two girls and yeah. for them to be with you when you're doing so much travelling. And I couldn't agree with you more, Mary. It, no. As I said earlier on, it's great to have Norma there because she's great for advice for me. And I hear the roaring thunder. And what can people expect with this, uh, this kind of spirituality concert, How Great Thou Art? A lot of the songs they will know, like How Great Thou Art. There are quite a few that you would have heard at your Sunday Mass like Ave Maria, Our Father, Honest Angelicus, those kind of songs. But there's also a black spiritual uh, dimension to it. Is spirituality important to you? It has been when I was younger. And it seems since I have met Dr. Angelou that it has come back to me uh, from her. That woman, uh, Maya Angelou, she's actually the Poet Laureate, isn't she, in the, in the States? Um, a very charismatic person, I with understand. With the black people in the United States, she is a hero. She worked with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, and uh, she, she's the granddaughter of a slave. And here she is today, with, celebrated by President Obama, and uh, she's Oprah's darling, you know. I've always found that uh, she has elevated me like she tries to elevate everybody else. I'm just thinking, you're from a very creative family. You've got Norma, your wife, who's a dance teacher. Uh, Christina, your daughter, yeah. paints. Oh, she's an artist, yeah. And is it true that Stephanie sings? Stephanie's a great singer, yeah. On the first day of January, 1892, they opened Ellis Island and they let the people through. The first to cross the threshold 
of that isle of hope and tears was any more from my land who was only 15 years. And Red Hurley's spiritual hits tour begins next week. He's in the National Concert Hall on Saturday the 21st of September, the Cork Opera House the following night, and he's in Limerick on the 4th of October. So watch out for those dates.